Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to cut and um, clean a pomegranate. So let's go ahead and start. Now the way you want to pick a pomegranate is um, you want to look at the skin, it should not be shriveled or anything. Um, very nice bright color, healthy looking fruit. So we're going to get started. Um, this is the way I do it. If you have another way of doing it, everybody has a way of doing their, uh, their own cutting and their own uh, way of uh, getting around this fruit. But over the years, this is what I have found that works for me. So I'm just going to score the fruit. I don't want to go all the way through because I don't want to, I want to make sure that I don't hurt any of the seeds. And I'm just going to take this out. I don't know if you can see this here. I can't get through. So we're just going to. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna do another one right over here. And I can assure you, this one looks like it's gonna be really, really good. And then what I do is I just kind of hold it and I just wanna, just a little bit of um, strength and look at that. Look at, look at this fruit. Look at how beautifully ripe it is. So it, folks, it's very important when you pick your pomegranate to pick a really good, healthy looking pomegranate. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here and I'll be putting my pomegranates in here. And then what we're gonna do is we have scored the other part too, so I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I can just use a little bit of uh, power to get this. Here we go. So we're doing really, really well. Now what you want to do is just kind of want to open it up like so. And then this is just the, the skin that's guarding the uh, seeds. And you don't want to put too much pressure on it, but just kind of want to um, kind of manipulate the seeds and, and they'll come out. And it's like a jigsaw puzzle. That's whenever I am cutting a pomegranate, that's what it, it feels like to me. It's like a jigsaw puzzle because you have to go through all these little, um, all this little white stuff. Like so. All right. So we did the one part, and then. You just want to follow and do the all the other ones, the rest of them, just like that. So the first one, you just want to hold it, you know, where you have your seeds going in. Now, I found out that the pomegranates are very, very high in vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. And it said it's a youth preserver. So I think this is a very beneficial um, fruit here. And they're in season right about... November, December, they're in full bloom. So it's, see folks, it's not, it looks hard when you open it, but once you get a, you know, a technique going of your own, it's, it's actually fun to sit down and peel it. And then it's even more fun to sit down and eat it. And, and I'm gonna be uploading uh, more recipes where we can incorporate the um, use of the pomegranate in our salads and uh, some of the desserts. And we're almost done here. And, uh, we're just going to make sure we get each and every seed out of there. And we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and so that's how easy it is folks to um, get into a pomegranate now you can get ones that are already um, cut and cleaned for you and just the seeds but they're super super expensive and it's just nice because this way um, you can cut your own pomegranate save the money it doesn't take very long at all it can be really fun to do with kids so that's all the garbage that we got out of it. No seeds in there. Oops, I found two. And 
that's about it. And this is uh, basically how much fruit that came out of one uh, of one whole um, pomegranate. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in our bowl here so you can see how it looks. And I just wanted to share with you before I go what my seven-year-old says. She goes, whenever she eats fruits like these, she goes, Mom, God is a great cook. And I agree with her 100%. I mean, this fruit is just amazing. And um, I'm gonna try some of them. Super, super sweet, super sweet. When it hits your mouth, there's seeds. And then when you bite into it, there's like a burst of liquid that comes out and overpowers your mouth. So this is an amazing, amazing fruit. Try it. I've. Uh, this is the best and easy way that I have tried to open it and show you a tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Hannah's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here on the next episode with another great recipe. We'll see you then.